What is going on guys? Welcome back to Spin Tires Mudrunner and today we're going to be dumb. By dumb, I mean we're going to be taking a Dodge Demon on the ice track. And that's not something I ever thought I would be saying on this channel. But you know what? Nonetheless, we are saying it today. So what we're going to do to make this realistically accurate, uh, which it's not going to be whatsoever. Um, what we're going to do to basically spoof the idea of going to a racetrack is we are going to throw the gooseneck on the back of the first gen and we are going to load either one or two demons onto it. I don't know how many it will let us load, but we're going to load as many as we can. Well, as many as we can. There's two. So if it lets us load both, then we'll load both of them. And if not, then we'll uh, we'll figure it out from there. I, I don't know if both will fit, but I am uh, certainly down to find out. So let's go ahead and drop the ramps. Now we're going to take both the normal one and the rally one. Now the normal one should be, the normal one should be fairly easy to, you know, to mess with and use the rally one. Well, I actually should say the rally one should be fairly easy to use and mess with. The normal one might be uh, a little sketch. All right, come on then, demon. Let's go. Oh, boy. All right. Driven it up as far as it'll go. Stop it. Put the parking brake on. Grab the other demon. Start it up. Uh, yeah. We should have room for her. Should definitely have room for it. Oh, God. All right. Come on. Easy. The approach angle on that trailer is a little harsh for the standard demon, but you know what? We're going to go ahead and stop the engine. Parking brake's already on. Hop back in the first gen. Bring those ramps up and take off, which we're not going to be taking off very quickly. I'll tell you that much. So we've got the ramps put back up now. We're going to go ahead and take the parking brake off again and peace out of here. I also need to make sure that we're heading in the red direction. Okay, the ice track is over there. So I'm like, I'm turning it around, but I want to make sure that I'm turning it around the right way. God, what a way to start December. Hauling two Dodge Demons with a first gen through a snow and ice map to go race on an ice track. What a way to start winter. I, it's a, isn't it so fitting? It's like we're just going to a track day. No worries. The track is just made out of ice as a matter of fact that is a real thing ice racing does exist it's basically like rally cross but on ice if i remember correctly so let's go ahead and park the truck right here we probably should have turned it around but you know what not gonna worry about it too much we'll get those ramps down and we're gonna drive the normal demon out onto the ice first so i'm gonna go ahead and stop the first gen now we're gonna go ahead and shut it down start the, the normal demon up back her off the trailer and drive her out onto the ice track now i'm gonna go ahead and refill it so it's fully repaired fully refilled and it should be all good to go oh boy oh god oh there is no feel oh jesus oh, ah, come on it's it's very unpredictable as to when it shifts so, like, when this car shifts, you kind of don't know it's going to do it. I'm just going to leave it in high. Then that way we can have it, like, just in a specific gear. Whoa! Ah! No worries. Oh, there's, like, no friction here either. Oh, boy. Now it's in rear-wheel drive only with the diff lock on. And I'm going to try and just kind of, you know... Use it as a little bit of a drift car if it'll let me do that. Whoa! It tried to launch there. Ah! Okay, you know what? I'm turning the I'm turning the fr the the front axle back on because whenever I leave it in just rear wheel drive, it, it doesn't even try to drift. All it tries to do is launch. But with the all wheel drive engaged, you can't really like you can't really drift it. You're just kind of saving these 90 degree slides all over the place. It's ah! it's definitely a weird sensation. 
Because you can whip it back the opposite direction in, like, no time at all. Yeah, it drives very weird. I wonder if I... Whoa! Alright, it's getting a little bit more, like, out of control than I thought it would. Although, like, right there, it's fine. It's like, you gotta kind of time when it's gonna shoot forward. It doesn't drive like a normal car. It doesn't have, like, normal car dynamics. But if you're gentle with it... There we go, we've done a lap! Let's see if we can do a lap without crashing whatsoever. Like, no spin-outs, no going into the bank, nothing. Didn't touch the bank right there. Save it! Ooh, I saved it, all right. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Come on, don't give up on it. There, whoa! All right, well, that attempt was done. You see what I mean, though, about how, like, if you put it in high and it grabs traction, like, and you even remotely have any sort of turn in the steering wheel whatsoever, it just, like, whoop, goes over that way. Oh, come on. See, it's it's got, like, this crazy whip going on. Probably because it was coded and designed to launch in a straight line, and that's just about all it was supposed to do. But this was a better lap than the last one. I'm going to try and do one more lap where it's basically like a survive the ice challenge. We're almost done with this lap, I think. It was better. It definitely wasn't perfect, but it was, but it was for sure better. Oh, boy. All right, let's go. Oh, I touched the bank a little bit, but I'm not going to count that. Come on. Come on, demon. I'm going to make you a ice circuit car. If it's the last thing I do, which it might be the last thing I do. You never know. Got through that corner just fine. Sliding it sideways, nice and easy. Oh, boy. Oh, don't touch the bank. Ah! E come on. Oh, boy. Oh my god, is this what Spears feels like driving around in Canada? It must be. Ah! Oh! You know, I got a little exuberant and it, uh, it didn't turn out too well. So now I'm going to try the rally version. The rally version it will probably be better. I mean, obviously, the tuning is completely different. Oh, my God. It took off. Holy crap. That was tremendously easy to control. Like, just got a little bit of a slide going. Feather in the throttle, working the brakes. I had understeered bad there, though. I bounced off the bank a little bit, but come on. Go. Go, you boat. Come on. Oh, there's where the street one flipped. Let's see if I can... There we go. Ah, oh, it's just... Dude, it's pushing so bad. It is pushing so bad. Good God, it was pushing bad there. You have to start the slide long before the corner if you don't want it to just push. And you have to turn on throttle and just let the front end pull it sometimes. It's weird, but it works. You sort of get into a little bit of a rhythm with how it works after a while, and you're like, oh, that's how that's supposed to do that. Certainly a more controlled lap than the street car. Let's see if we can do one with no, oh God, no touching the, whoa! Oh my God, that was textbook perfect. Dude, that was textbook perfect. I love that. Holy moly. Oh no. Do not bang it into high. All right. Well, I've learned my lesson. Do not bang shift it into high. It, it, it literally just goes the other way. It says, nope, I'm going this way. Nothing you can do about it. It's just like, it's just like, yep, we're going this way now. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I'm sure that with practice, I could drive the streetcar like this too. It's just like such a slick environment. And I mean, 
in order to, it's so weird because like nobody understands this, but like in order to drift, you really need to have a little bit of grip because you don't want it to be just like as slick as it could possibly be. You want there to be some grip there. And like this has a little bit of grip, so it's able to do these like much longer, bigger, more controlled slides. But it is absolutely hilarious though. If you haven't tried this, if it is something that you haven't tried, I highly encourage you to try it because you will have a blast and it's quite the fun little challenge. So if you all enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to y'all later.